Welcome back. Now, the UK choristers bring a little bit of that Broadway magic to the Singletary Center stage on Saturday, April 1st, with two performances of a night on Broadway, Fools in Love. And joining us this morning to tell us more is director Dr. Elizabeth Wilson. We are so glad to have you here with us. Good morning. Thanks so, for having me. So we're excited about this, but tell us a little bit about what this all entails because we have to come to this performance. Well, we're super excited about the theme this year. It is, as you guys said, on April 1st, April Fool's Day. And so we decided to play off that. And so the theme is <laughs> fools in love. So you're gonna see everything from the foolish character like um, the king in You'll Be Back um, from Hamilton. And um, the opening medley starts with Why Do Fools Fall in Love, I which love I heard it. you I sing in at the break <laughs> of you. And, <clears throat> um, and then also obviously your typical love ballads and love songs too, but we've got a variety of numbers. The students perform together in three full company numbers. Um, and then we've got Blue Note featured, which is our a cappella um, mixed ensemble at UK. And then um, a number of solo and small group duet numbers too. So it's gonna be a, a very entertaining show. Um, I, I hope a lot of people can come out to see it. It sounds jam-packed. I mean, a, a show like this, how long does this usually uh, go? Well, we start working on it um, all the way back in the in the fall semester with auditioning the different small group acts, um, but the show itself runs about an hour and 20 minutes, no intermission. It's a one act, so it's a great event to bring families to, um, small kids. We always keep it super clean and school appropriate, and so <laughs> families can come and um, have a, a great experience for kids and um, people of all ages, and it's not too long of a show. There's no intermission. So an hour and 20 minutes in and out the door. Yeah. Does the theme change from year to year? Yeah, last year the theme was Brand New Day um, based on the, the number from The Wiz and obviously coming out of COVID, um, right. we wanted to do something very uplifting, um, but it was kind of a play on it as well because it's always called Night on Broadway. Um, <clears throat> but last year was not, uh, Brand New Day um, and previous years we've had um, stage and screen. So we pulled from movie theme songs as well and movie numbers. Um, and But typically it's always just Broadway. And mm -hmm. so this year we've stuck with that as part of the theme. What, what are the UK Choristers? The UK Choristers is the choir that I'm honored to conduct. I've um, been working them, with them for eight years now. Um, it is the, lo the oldest ensemble on UK's campus though. Wow. Um, the longest running performing ensemble um, on UK's campus. Um, a very, very rich history. Um, Sarah Holroyd um, is the sort of infamous conductor of the choristers. Uh, they were in their heyday when she was um, the leader of them and she was um, the conductor of choirs back in the 70s and 80s and into the early 90s before Dr. Jefferson Johnson took over as director of choral activities. And I've had the honor, like I said, of conducting them for eight years, but it's a mixed ensemble, mostly um, um, non-majors, but we do have music majors as well. Mm -hmm. Typically freshmen, music ed, and vocal performance majors start out in choristers and then they sort of graduate into chorale. But because of the longevity of my time there now, I really feel like we've been able to maintain some um, retention within the ensemble that maybe didn't exist before. And so we have students that stay in all four years now, some wow. that come back as graduate students to still stay a part of the group. And the numbers fluctuate anywhere between 70 and 90 oh, participants. Wow. But when I got here, there were about 45 members. So we've really grown in size yeah. Oh, yeah. and um, students just love participating in this group. The Night on Broadway is the absolute feature performance for them for their year. I bet it is. How can we get tickets? Well, so they're easy to get. You can get them at the box office office at Singletary or at scfatickets.com. Um, we have a 3 p.m. show on Saturday as well as a 7.30 p.m. show and tickets always sell out for this event. We're, we're looking really good already for this year um, on ticket sales, but there are still tickets available. Um, we're hoping we'll still have some available at the door, but our collage performance that happens at um, the holidays every year mm -hmm. sold out three days prior wow. to the weekend um, in December. So I do urge you to go online or call the box office as soon as possible if you want to go um, so that you don't miss out. Dr. Elizabeth, thank you so much. We truly appreciate it. We're so glad you were here to tell us about it. Thank you. Well, I hope you guys can come. Absolutely. Thank you.